Airmen from the 154th Civil Engineer Squadron are ready to build a base from scratch after completing a field training exercise along joint and total force partners. Exercise Pacific Warrior provided four days of training for the Hawaii Air National Guard Airmen who operated out of Schofield Barracks and Wheeler Army Airfield from June 5th to 8th. We are essentially in a deployed environment, so in order to keep this setup running, as soon as we get here, we put up all of our tents. It's important to get that done your first day here, so we do have shelter to sleep under that first night. Then we quickly get everything else set up from our uh, latrine areas to dining facility areas as well. These National Guard participants effectively doubled down on their monthly drill training by merging their May and June musters into an extended super drill. Civil engineer airmen specialize in a variety of career fields involving emergency managers, structural experts, and HVAC technicians. We're 100 percent expected to go out of our way to integrate with the rest of the squadron and make sure that we're all pitching in. Whether we understand exactly what we're doing or not, we're all learning together and we're all making it happen. But for the events of Pacific Warrior, everyone had the opportunity to step outside of their lane of expertise and practice new sets of competencies. Just like any other deployed environment, partners from the active duty, guard, and reserve U.S. Air Force components work together as a cohesive force. Pacific Warrior also presented valuable opportunities to practice aeromedical evacuation procedures alongside soldier counterparts from the Hawaii Army National Guard's medevac unit, Detachment 3, 3rd of the 126 Aviation. Um, so today we're going to be going out uh, partnering with the uh, Army National Guard and we're going to be um, doing some demonstrations and practicing hot loading. Um, so they're going to be able to run the helicopter up blades turning um, and we're going to be able to load litters into the aircraft if we needed to medevac someone. And then going into the afternoon, uh, we actually have a, a firefighter um, in our squadron and he's going to be teaching us some self-aid buddy care um, because he has that, that knowledge base. He's, he's seen the things that we haven't seen. He knows he's, uh, how to deal with these situations. And then, well, I think we're also going to be doing individual troop movements um, and dismount procedures for convoys. To top off each segment of training activities, freshly cooked meals were made available to maintain and replenish energy and morale throughout the exercise. In this case, the Hawaii Air National Guard's service team's disaster relief mobile kitchen trailer was well equipped for the tasking. While the days of Pacific Warrior proved to be long and physically intensive, some of the deployment accommodations turned out to be well above par for a number of the participants. People would definitely be very surprised to see what we're capable of uh, offering to our airmen in a deployed environment. I'll say it's definitely a treat for me. Um, I don't sleep in AC at home, uh, so coming out to the field and getting a AC room is definitely a treat. Uh, the water pressure here is a lot better than it is at home. I'm getting three well-rounded meals all, all the way through uh, for all four days, so I'm real thankful for that. I'm Staff Sergeant John Linsmeyer, reporting for the Hawaii Air National Guard.